Good evening and welcome to another edition of AJ's non-league vlog and uh, I've made the uh, short trip across South East London to come and watch the pitching in this Mewen South Eastern League fixture between Beckenham Town and Cray Valley Paper Mills. Uh, this game was postponed a couple of weeks ago. Uh, yeah, it's, but they've got, got it replayed tonight, so I uh, thought I'd come down here. Um, yeah, uh, league positions, I mean, as we you know, Cray Valley have had a fantastic season. Um, currently sitting second in the league. They've lost their, lost their first league game a couple of weeks ago. You know, so, uh, you know, we've got the, obviously they're not to short one out of the cups. So I didn't mention that quite a lot when I uh, watched Cray Valley, but it's what happened. Um, yeah, uh, Beckenham Town having a bit of a shocker of the season, having a really poor one. They're sitting rock bottom and they're quite a few points of drift to safety now as well. Um, I don't know what's kind of gone, gone wrong here this season, but uh, they seem to be really destined for combined um, Southern Counties East football again, by the looks of it. But yeah, um, yeah the last result between the teams over at, over at Cray uh, finished 2 1. Uh, to Cray, um, and uh, their last results were the Cray beat Sheppey 2 1 away, and um, and uh, uh, Beckham drew 1 1 with, with Seven Oaks Town. So, uh, yeah, um, I hope you for a good game here. I must admit, I've picked this one because I think there might be a few goals in this one, and uh, I mean, yeah, I like Beckham and Town, I, I do, but. Uh, I think it's going to be a really tough night for them. But, uh, I think the score is going to be something like four 0 to Cray. They're that good. Uh, nice little chat with uh, Steve McKim before the uh, before the game, and uh, yeah, he's uh, happy with the way things are going at the moment. So uh, that's good. So, yeah, let's hope for a really good game of football. I mean, hopefully, you know, it won't be too much of a battery for um, Beckham Town, but you know, it could be wrong. Stranger things have happened. So, uh, but let's see how it goes. So. Uh, I'll be back at half time with a roundup of how it's gone. So until then, I'll see you later. Oh, God. <laughs> That is not the start Beckham and Town wanted. Barely two minutes played. Not the start Beckham and Town wanted. It's uh, Beckham and Town nil, Cray Valley PM one. Uh, Kirill Lisby after two minutes, uh, good set of effort, cutting cutting from the edge of the box, and uh, fired it home to put the visitors one nil up already. Handball out outside the box by the goalkeeper. See what's going to happen here. Look like it might just be a yellow card. Yellow card. Oh, good pass. I meant to do that.
He's giving that, he's giving that. Penalty to Cray. Four minutes played, it's Beckenham Town, Neil Crow Valley 2. Uh, 20, uh, 24th minute penalty uh, by Adam Coombs after uh, Liz Peebles brought down in the box. So it's uh, yeah, Beckenham Town, Neil Crow Valley 2. Eight minutes played, it's Beckham Town nil, Cray Valley 3. Uh, ex Robin, Matthew Vega has made it 3 0. A good finish on 38 minutes. Not very good for Beckham, unfortunately. <laughs> Inside. Oh, he's finished that, 4 0. Beat makes it 4 0 to Cray on the 40th minute. A really good solo effort, uh, the goalkeeper, and uh, fired it into an empty net. Uh, Beckham Town 0, Cray Valley 4. Oh, oh, oh. Half time. Right, half time here at Beckenham Town, and it's Beckenham Town nil, Cray Valley Paper Mills four. Well, I thought there'd be goals in this one. I've not been disappointed so far. Uh, I mean, not really a surprise, really. I mean, the golfing class between the two clubs is there, there to see. Um, yeah, uh, Cray Valley got a good start, uh, scored them two minutes. Uh, Lisby uh, with a good finish to put them, give them an only 1 0 lead. Uh, and in the 24 minutes, uh, Coombs made it 2 0 from the penalty spot after Lisby was brought down in the box. Uh, 3 0 uh, came from Matty Vega, ex Robin, made it 3 0 with a, a good finish. and. Uh, this B with a good solo effort uh, made it 4 0 with five minutes to go. Um, the the scoreline doesn't flatter Cray. I mean, 
they've been that be that much better. I mean, Beckenham haven't really made the keeper, uh, Craig Vaddy keeper, have a good save. Um, I think they headed one over the bar, but uh, they've Craig Valley have sort of been really, 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 very really too strong for them. And it's a uh, yeah, it's a it says one sided as the score makes out, so yeah, so it's half time. I don't know how you're going to turn that one around, especially against. I mean, they might carry on. Um, get a good boost to the goal difference. I quite fancy them to do that if they want a promotion to the uh, Isthmian Premier next season. They might need to do that, and I can I could see them getting at least two, possibly three more here. I mean, Beckham looks just totally demoralised and. Uh, they just, they just kept going, they never stopped, they just kept going, they kept attacking, attacking and attacking and uh, you know, and um, you know, they took their chances, I mean they created far more chances than they scored, but um, they scored four, so can't really complain about that too much, but uh, yeah, but Beckham have got a lot of work to do in the second half, I can't see them pulling it out of the bag, unfortunately, I think it's already, I think the game's already gone for them, so uh, yeah, they'll sort of maybe stop rest players because they've got a game fit on Thursday away to um, Hive United I think on Thursday this is when the fixture pile up starts coming through and um, yeah so they might just do a triple seven just rest some players and try and go again for, uh, for Thursday but uh, yeah uh, not good for Beckenham they look, they look, they look like they're struggling uh, even with um, Louis Theofanos up front he was got no service no service at all uh, and he's banging him for calling athletic, but he's back. Must be a dual registration. Um, yeah, he's got, no, he's got no service, but it's just, yeah, not, not very good for Beckham. But uh, yeah, well, that's it. Uh, I've got all four goals, luckily. So uh, that's uh, something. But uh, yeah, I will be back at full time with a roundup of how the game's finished. But uh, half time here is Beckham Town nil, Cray Valley Paper Mills four. I do think there'll be a couple more. Come to opposite side for a different angle to the game. Still at the end, Cray Value attacking though. Oh, what a good header. <laughs> good celebration as well. Eighty minutes gone, it's Beckham Neil Cray Valley five. Julian Anu with a brilliant header from a corner at the far post um, to um, make it five nil with ten minutes to go. Beckham had a go in the second I've had a go in the second half, I've had a go. Whether that's because Cray have taken their foot off the pedal, I don't know. But um, yeah, but they've got they've made it five now, so uh, yeah, it's five nil to Cray. Oh, 
88 minutes played. Another ex Robin has scored for Frey Valley. Uh, Marcel Barrington had a very short spell with us at the beginning of the season and um, has made it 6 0 to Cray Valley. Um, yeah. Nothing more to add, really. It was a good goal. He took it well. He slammed it home from about 12 yards. Keeper said no chance. So, uh, yeah. Beckenham Town 0, Cray Valley 6. Or are they just going to put it in the corner? Full time here at Eden Park and it's finished. Beckenham Town nil, Cray Valley Paper Mills six. Um, floor doesn't, scoreline doesn't flatter them really. I mean, there was a spirited uh, go at it in the second half, Beckenham Town. I mean, whether that was because Cray sat off it a little bit and just sort of let them play there, they're sort of uh, creating some chances without really taking them. But, uh, yeah, but I think Cray must have just got oh, right. Let's, let's, let's step it up again. So uh, they stepped it up again. Uh, Junior and the new made it um, 5 0 in 79 minutes with a brilliant header from a set piece. And then Marcel Barrington finished the route with a cool finish from about 12 yards. Slammed it into the back of the net to make it 6 0. I mean, I don't know how back can we recover from this? I mean, it is second versus bottom, but still, that's a that's a bit of a beating, especially at home as well. But uh, they, they haven't got that time that long to dwell over it because uh, they've got another. Yeah, they're away to Hythe Town on Thursday, so like I say, they haven't got a long lot, lot of time to dwell on that. They've just got to get back with it again um, for Thursday. But uh, yeah, it was a comprehensive victory for Cray, Cray Valley. I mean. And yeah, looks in any danger of losing the game was already won in the first half. Um, but uh, yeah, Beckenham Town will just have to brush themselves off and go again on Thursday night. But um, yeah, so yeah, got all six goals, which is good. Um, so it'll take me a little while to sort through those, but uh, yeah, I'll have a vlog up in the next few days. Um, but yeah, next up for me um, will be tomorrow night. I'm going to go and watch Kingston versus Dulwich Hamlet. So that should be another. I reckon that should be another high scoring game as well in Kingston and Bottom and Dulwich are about 8th so but anyway back to tonight it's finished Beckenham Town nil, Cray Valley Paper Mills 6 and uh, thanks for watching and I'll be back soon with another vlog so until next time see you later yeah just an addition to the vlog uh, that win put Cray Valley Paper Mills back to the top of the Eastman South East Division um, after uh, league leaders Ramsgate lost 1-0 away to Horndean so yeah so with that 6-0 win as well they've turned around the goal difference to their advantage as well so all around a very very good night to be a Cray Valley fan so um, yeah so that's it thanks for watching I'll see you again soon